Hello, welcome to the second voxel sprite keyframing tutorial. In the first tutorial, we took a look at voxel 1.65's movie tool, which allows you to script camera keyframes and also sprite keyframes, which are little moving portions of the voxel model. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is take a look at uh, how to actually change the shape of a sprite. Uh, I haven't done this before, so hopefully it'll work out. Here we have a portion of our model, and if we go up to the switcher here, we'll see the uh, camera and our sprite that we did in the first tutorial, and also another sprite that I did earlier. So what we're going to do is make a new sprite for this guy. So we hit the uh, runner plus button. That gives us a new track in which to insert sprite keyframes. And we're going to start with uh, just this guy. So I'm going to select him and then go over to, uh, let me make sure that the grass is not selected. Okay, yeah, it's not. Uh, go over to the movie tool, hit the plus button, and we have our first keyframe. Now, we're going to go back to uh, not the select tool this time, but the uh, minus tool. And let's uh, get rid of this guy's arm. Now there you see a ghost image. That's uh, the ghost of our keyframe that we just set showing through. We don't need to worry about that right now. Um, let's go to the plus tool and what I want to do is pick up this color from this guy's arm. So uh, I'm going to hit pick selected and that picks this color. And now I'm going to make a... I'm going to move this guy's arm forward a bit. So I'm going to turn this, turn the grid on and tap right there. And there we've moved his arm forward. And let's go and move his foot back. So I'm going to delete the foot, and then uh, pick the color from this oops, box, and go over here, select that so that I get the grid on this same plane, and then I'm going to put his foot there. So uh, ho hopefully my arm's not blocking everything. So now we have a slight modification we've made to the model. Let's move, uh, actually, move his other other hand back. Oops, right there. Okay, we've moved his other hand back and let's see, we need to move this foot back. So we're going to pick the color, turn on the grid, move the foot, subtract it. So it's kind of like a, you know, clay modeling or something where you going to have to take away parts and add parts to the model, but that's our next frame that we want to use. And the other thing we want to do is move that model forward. So let's select this whole mess. Gonna go here, here, select this, select out here, go down one. Okay, does that get our whole block? Looks like it. And then we're going to go to the movie tool and hit plus. There we have our second keyframe. So now if we go uh, back to the first keyframe, you can see we can switch between the two. The reason that you see these combined is that we're actually seeing the original voxels on the old model as well. So let's go back to the arrow tool and cut those away. So now when we go to the movie tool, we'll only see our sprites. So now I can jump back and forth between these two. And that's, I mean, it's such a low-res model, he doesn't really even look like a man at this point, but let's just stick with it. So uh, we've got one keyframe, we've got a second keyframe, and, uh, oh, I forgot to move that guy forward. So how are we going to fix that? Let's, uh, what we're going to do is copy this. So we copy this particular keyframe into the buffer go back to the sprite tool and we're going to paste it. Okay, then let's move it over one. Hit OK. And then we go back to the movie tool. And so now what we want to do is replace this keyframe, which you can still see, with the new keyframe. So just hold down on the plus button, it replaces it. Now we have uh, a keyframe that actually moves. We need to go back to our model, cut the original voxels, I know that's a little confusing, but uh, until I work out a better way, that's 
how it's going to work, I guess. Okay, so now we got a guy that moves, like he jumps forward. And what we want to do is just have him sort of step. So we, we want to go back to the first keyframe, only move it forward. So to do that, what we do is just copy this keyframe, go back to the arrow tool, paste it, okay, move it, and we're going to move it forward. And uh, let's go back to our movie tool and select this keyframe so we can see where it is. Um, and uh, let's move this guy back one. Okay. And then we go to the movie tool, add a new keyframe. Go back to our arrow tool and uh, hit OK and cut those away. Now let's see what we got. We have a step. We have one step, ladies and gentlemen. So it's complicated, but it can be done. And that's how you do it.